Hi friends, this is Gauri Naik speaking for Logix Computer Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the conditional statements or if statement as it is called. We'll discuss why it's written and how it's written. Sometimes it may so happen that you would like to execute a piece of code only if a condition is satisfied or maybe the other way around you may like to execute a piece of code if a condition is not satisfied to do this we will write the if statement let's see how this if statement is written with the help of a flowchart the format of the if statement is like so the word if and then the boolean expression that is the condition which will be put in parenthesis. If this expression is true, then the block of statements under if will be executed. Else the block of statements under else will be executed. It's not necessary that every if statement has to have an else statement. We can write an if statement only by itself. So we'll take an example wherein we'll input the cost price and selling price of an article and print whether the seller has made a profit or loss. So the flowchart will look as follows. If the selling price is greater than the cost price, if it is yes, then we print profit. And if the selling price is less than the cost price, which means that if it's a no, then we print loss. Let's see how this program would be written. So this is the way we write the program. We need to take two variables that is cost price and selling price. We ask the user to enter the cost price and selling price. Scanf function takes the input from the user. In this we see that there are two format specifiers for integers. Since we have de declared the cost price and selling price as integers, so we use the format specifier percentage %d for an integer. The first integer is assigned to cost price and the second to the selling price. Now we start with the if statement. So if the selling price is greater than the cost price, then we print profit else. So this is the else part. We print loss. Now let's run this program and see. We need to compile, build and run the program. So when we run the program, it's asking us for the cost price and selling price. When we enter the cost price and selling price, it shows us it's a profit because the cost price here is less than the selling price. Let's run the program again and see whether it prints a loss. So the cost price and the selling price is entered and you can see that it has printed loss. This is the format of the simple if statement. By default, one statement is executed under the if and one statement is automatically executed under the else. If you need to execute many statements, that is two or more statements under the if, then you need to create a block. And this is the way we would create a block. If we need these two statements, under the if so let's print the actual cross the actual profit that the user has made so the seller has made a profit and how much profit would be printed in the next statement which is selling price minus cost price so here you can see that we can use a mathematical expression in our printf statement. Now these two statements become a block of statements which will be executed if this condition is true. Let's also do the same thing with the else. It's not necessary that if the if has a block, the else also should have a block. It may be that there may be just one statement under the else. So here again we print seller has made a loss and we would like to print the actual amount of loss 
in the next statement. Loss is equal to percentage D and the actual amount of loss would be cost price minus the selling price. So now these are the two statements that will be executed under the else. So let's run the program again. Here if we enter the cost price and the selling price it should print two lines which it, which it has done. So the seller has made a loss and the loss is 44. So this is the way we write the simple if statement. There are many forms of the if statement and another form of the if statement is the if else ladder. Let's write an example and before that I would like to show you the flowchart of the if else ladder. Suppose we enter the marks of a student and we want to print the grade according to the marks that he has scored. So if the marks are 75 then it should print grade A. If not the next question will be if the marks are greater than 50 then it should print grade B. Even if this is not true then it should ask if the marks are greater than 40. Then if, if it's yes then it should print grade C. And if all these are not true, that is all the previous conditions are not true, then it should print grade D. So this is written with the help of an if else ladder. Let's see how we write the program. We'll take the marks from the user. So we take a variable called marks. We ask the user to enter the marks with the help of the printf function. When the user enters the marks, we take the marks with the help of the scanf function. Since we have declared the marks as integer, we take a percentage %d as a format specifier. Now we start with the if statement. So if the marks are greater than or equal to 75, it should print grade A. Else, so if this condition is not true, only then it goes to the else part of the statement. So else if the marks if the marks are greater than or equal to 60 then it should print grade B. Else so if this condition also is not true then it goes to the corresponding else. This else corresponds to this if. And this else corresponds to this if. So else if the marks are greater than equal to 45 then it should print grade C. And if all the above conditions are not true then it should print grade D. So that is the last else statement. So else printed grade D. So this is called the if else ladder and you can see that this if else is nested inside this if statement. This if else is nested inside this if statement. Here if the if any of the condition is satisfied then the ex, then the compiler executes the statement whichever is true and skips the rest of the statements. So if the marks are suppose 65 then the first question that the compiler would face is if the marks are greater than or equal to 75. If this evaluates to false then it comes here which in our case would happen. So if the marks are greater than 60 our marks are 65. So this is true. It prints grade B and it skips the rest of the statements. Let's run this program and see. So it's saying enter the marks, I enter 65 and you can see that it has correctly printed grade B. Let's run it again and see if it prints the last else that is if the marks are supposed 12 it should print grade D. So this is the form of the if else ladder. Another form of the if statement is called the nested if statement. Here you can see that there is an if else statement which is nested inside another if statement. Let us call this as the outer if statement and this as the inner if statement. If 
the condition in the outer if statement evaluates to true only then it enters the inner if statement if this condition also evaluates to true then the statements under it are executed else if this condition of the inner statement evaluates to false then the statements under this else are executed so you can see that this else corresponds to the inner if that is the inner else corresponds to the inner if and the outer else corresponds to the outer if so if the condition of the outer if itself was not true then it would execute the statements under the corresponding else of the statement let's write a program in which we would enter the username and password and write the nested if statement so here we will input the username and password if the username is equal to x only then it asks if the password is equal to 123 so if the username is not equal to x then it should print wrong username and exit the program if the username is equal to x then it should go to the inner if statement which asks if the password is equal to 123 if it's not then it should print wrong password and exit the program so if both these if conditions are true only then it should print you are registered so let's see how this would be done with the help of a program here we need to take the username and the password let's take the username as a char so char stands for character so you are going to input one single character for the username and you are going to input an integer for the password now with the help of the printf statement we display a message to the user to enter the username and the password when the user enters the username the scanf statement takes it as a character and so the percentage c is the format specifier for a char which is the username so the char is assigned to the address username and the percentage d is the format specifier for the password which is an integer so he enters the username and password now we start with the if statement the first condition was if the username is equal to c then it should enter the next if statement note that this is the equal to symbol it's not a single equal to this checks for the equality of the operands surrounding it the next statement would be if the password is equal to 1 to 3 note that when you are showing a char it should be put in single quotes so if both the statements evaluate to true then the program should print you are registered else now this else corresponds to this inner if statement so else the password is not right so the program should print incorrect password else now this else corresponds to the outer if statement which asks for the which checks for the username so the username if it's not correct then it should print wrong username so here you can see that if the username is not c it will go to the else part of the outer if statement and print a wrong username if the username is correctly written as c only then it will check for the password if the password is 1 to 3 that means he has registered correctly so it should print you are registered if the password is wrong it should print it's an incorrect password let's run this program and see so it's asking for the username and password the first time we should we'll try to enter both 
the input correctly. So it says you are registered because both the username and the password are right. The next time we'll enter a wrong username. So let's enter something else and the correct password. So here it says the username is wrong. Now the third time we'll enter the correct username but the wrong password. So the username is C and the password is 567 wherein it says it's incorrect password. So these are the different forms of the if statement which you can use. Hope this video was useful and you will subscribe, rate or comment to our videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you.